What is going on, everybody? What is going on? The Catch Fam, my name is John Dawson, and in today's video, we are breaking down our waiver wire must adds for week 12 of the 2022 fantasy football season. If you guys do enjoy today's content, be sure to hit that like button on the way in. Hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you are new to the channel, it really does help us out. And you guys hit that like and consider subscribing. And please feel free to drop any comments, questions, concerns pertaining to the 2022 fantasy football season down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Without further ado, let's hop into today's video. First up on the list, we've got Samaj Pirine of the Cincinnati Bengals. He is definitely your top priority waiver wire edition as we approach week 12. Anytime we have one of these handcuffed running backs, you know, potentially being able to step up as an RB1 for their respective team, we need to go after them aggressively on the waiver wire. So in week 11, 30.2 fancy points for Pirine against the Pittsburgh Steelers, 11 total rushes, 30 yards on the ground, but where he made his money was four targets, four receptions, 52 receiving yards, and three receiving touchdowns on top of that joe mixon is expected to miss some time he is dealing with a concussion that doesn't you know guarantee that joe mixon is going to be out in week 12 but there is a good likelihood that mixon is going to miss a week or so and even if he doesn't Pirine is looking like one of the more solid handcuffs in the league right now at this point in the season where you really need to pay attention to these handcuffs guys like alexander madison james cook of the bills you look pretty good this past week as well, AJ Dillon, Kareem Hunt, whoever is available in your league, handcuffs are just worth rostering. Samaj Pirine looks to be in a really good position, not just as a handcuff, but as a potential play in Week 12, even with a tough matchup against the Tennessee Titans. All right, next up is Latavius Murray, sitting at 25% rostered overall, had 17.2 fantasy points against the Las Vegas Raiders in Week 11. A good outing for Latavius Murray. On top of that, Chase Edmonds tweaked his ankle in this matchup against the Raiders and Melvin Gordon had another fumble. He has fumbled quite a bit on the year and Latavius Murray is really starting to look like that lead back that the Broncos hopefully want. We know that they have ran a committee for some time. Don't get me wrong. Melvin Gordon still had 12 fantasy points in week 11. I still think this is a committee, but Latavius Murray is still leading this team in terms of the running back position in Touches. So I like him. 49 yards on the ground in week 11. A touchdown, four targets, four receptions, 23 receiving yards. He gets a good matchup in week 12 against the Carolina Panthers. I absolutely think Latavius Murray is worth going after, especially if you are hurting at the running back position as we approach week 12. All right, next up on the list, we've got Traylon Burks of the Tennessee Titans, who had a very solid outing on Thursday night football against the Packers. 18.1. Fancy points in week 11, eight targets, seven receptions, 111 receiving yards. It's also worth noting he still had six targets in week 10. Not as good of an outing, obviously, but the target share over the last two weeks has been pretty solid. Gets a good matchup in week 12 against the Cincinnati Bengals, who are definitely allowing for good game scripts from an offensive perspective and from a fancy perspective as well. Well, so I like Burks as an addition in full PPR leagues. I don't know if he holds as much value for those of you who play in standard or half PPR, but at the end of the day, if the Tennessee Titans can solidify a wide receiver one for this team, we definitely want to own that wide receiver one. And I think that Traylon Burks, due to the volume he's gotten over the last two weeks, could absolutely be that player. We all knew about the talent that Traylon Burks is we may have finally saw that breakout game in week 11. So he should be one of the top receivers for you guys to add as we approach week 12. All right, next up on the list, we've got Darius Slayton of the New York Giants sitting at 57% roster. Got picked up in a lot of leagues last week, you know, due to the consistent performances he's had and due to the matchup against the Detroit Lions. 13.6 fantasy points for Slayton week 11, 86 receiving yards, 10 targets, 5 Reception. So since week five, he has had 11.6 or more fantasy points in every matchup he's played in except for week six against the Ravens. He has either 58 or more receiving yards or a touchdown in each of those performances outside of that matchup against the Ravens. Once again, he's just really emerged as the number one receiving option for Daniel Jones. So I think he's a great player to go after a solid flex. We liked him a lot in the flex going into week 11. May not bring the highest ceiling, but in full PPR leagues, he is definitely showing some 
consistency. It's also worth noting that Randall Robinson, who was also emerging as a strong talent for the Giants, although a little bit more inconsistent, suffered a severe knee injury in this week 11 matchup against the Lions. It can certainly lead to more volume for Darius Slayton in the coming weeks. He does have a tough matchup in week 12 against Dallas, but overall, similar to Traylon Burks, we want to go after these players who could potentially be number one options, and it definitely looks like Slayton is the number one option for the Giants, so he should be picked up as we approach week 12. And next up on the list, we've got the Marcus Robinson of the Baltimore Ravens sitting at 9% rostered currently, 21.8 points in week 11, 9 targets, 9 receptions, 128 receiving yards, a big game for Robinson. We saw some flashes in week 8 against Tampa Bay. He had eight targets, six receptions, 64 receiving yards in that game. And he kind of came back to earth in week nine, which is 2.2 fantasy points against the Saints on bye week in week 10, but really bounced back nicely here in week 11. He looks to be the number one option over Devin Duvernay, who had just one catch, 1.7 fantasy points in week 11. And we know that Rashad Bateman is not coming back this season. It really looks like Robinson is the favorite target at the wide receiver position for Lamar Jackson. So we want to definitely try and exploit that. We definitely want to try and pick him up. He's got a good matchup against Jacksonville in week 12. I think he'll be a solid flex option for you guys and definitely a player to go after on the waiver wire. All right, last receiver for today's list is going to be Donovan Peoples. Jones, guys, this is the last week I'm going to talk about DPJ. He has been on the waiver wire video like every single week since week four. He's 56% rostered. Every single week, he's just slowly going up in terms of his percentage rostered. He needs to be rostered in more of your guys' league. 17.1 fantasy points in week 11. He now has double digit points in every game since week four, except week five, where he's still had nine fantasy points. He is just a flex option you can depend on in full PPR on a weekly basis. And he finally scored a touchdown here in week 11 against Buffalo. Plus, he'll get Deshaun Watson back at the quarterback position in week 13. Depending on how you're looking at it, that could improve things or it could take away from the chemistry that him and Jacoby Brissett have had. But either way, he has shown enough production on the season that he just needs to be rostered at a much higher level percentage. He's a receiver I would definitely go after as we approach week 12. All right, I've got just one tight end for you guys to go after on the waiver wire. That's going to be Jawan Johnson, a tight end we have talked about a lot in the last couple of waiver wire videos and a tight end we have talked about a lot in general on the streams. 13.7 fantasy points in week 11 in a tough matchup against a Rams unit that has played well against the tight end position four targets three receptions a touchdown 47 receiving yards in total another tough matchup in week 12 but since week seven he has had at least 12 fantasy points in every matchup except week eight against the raiders he has five touchdowns in his last five games he is absolutely a tight end that you need to be targeting as we approach week 12. all right not a lot of great options at the quarterback position but i know some of you guys are suffering with the injury to Justin Fields, which we absolutely hate to see. So I want to give you guys a couple of streaming options. Daniel Jones coming off of a great performance against a very bad Detroit Lions defense with 26.6 fantasy points. But in his last four matchups, he's had 18 or more fantasy points in three of those matchups, except in week eight, where he had just 9.4 fantasy points. It's a tough matchup against the Cowboys, but they have been allowing some shootouts in the last two weeks. So I still think Danny Dimes will be an option as we approach the week, but I would not expect a really high ceiling because he still had two interceptions against the Lions in week 11. But nonetheless, I think he brings a good enough floor. Trevor Lawrence got dropped in a lot of leagues. He's just 56% rostered at the moment. He's still a top 12 quarterback on the season, depending on your league scoring format. He may even be a little bit higher. He gets the Baltimore Ravens in week 12, 20.9 fantasy points in week 10. I like Trevor Lawrence as a streaming option, really a quarterback who probably deserves to be rostered, even if he doesn't bring the most consistent floor and or stealing. We have seen enough good performances out of Lawrence on the year that he should be rostered is definitely a streaming option as we approach the week. Last off, we've got Jimmy Garoppolo, just a safe floor on a weekly basis. At the time I'm recording this, Monday Night Football has not yet been Played. So I don't exactly know how he's going to look in week 11 as we approach week 12, but 
It's a pretty good matchup. Not the best matchup, not the worst matchup against the Saints. I think he's definitely a quarterback we can consider if you are struggling at the position as we approach week 12. And that'll do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button on the way out. Hit that subscribe button, of course, if you are new to the channel. Please feel free to drop any comments, questions, concerns pertaining to the 2022 fantasy football season down below. And just as a side note, if any options on the waiver wire emerge from the Monday night football game, I will drop them in the comments down below, as well as a couple other players that I think are worth looking at as we approach the week. And with that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching and or listening. And remember, you saw it here on the catch.